entrepreneurship sometimes means getting by with a little help from your friends. Meet the owner of a former failing factory who found inspiration in the most unlikely of heroes. My name is Jimmy Petrasso, and I'm driven to bring manufacturing back to the USA. What we do here at Fall River Apparel is we take your designs and we cut and sew them and produce them in quantity with quality. And the cut and sew business is basically we are sewing contractors. We would take your fabric, cut it, assemble it, inspect it, and ship it. Jimmy Petroso has certainly seen the highs and lows of the garment industry. Back when I was a, a child, Fall River was known for its mills and its uh, factories. And if you were going to work, that's where it would be. Labor was in demand and there was plenty of work to be had. Started out of a two-bedroom apartment back in 1983, Jimmy's business grew until, at the height of success, he owned a 120,000-square-foot factory that employed over 100 people. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Libby. At our peak, we were at $2.5 million a year in labor revenue. At a time where all the mills in Fall River were closing, Jimmy's factory continued to rise. That is until... And I went in one day and... There was no more orders coming. I didn't see the whole industry going offshore. We were forced to close. The day we closed, and I had to tell those 100 people that it was over, I was in the corner crying. While Jimmy was down on his luck, just across the river, an emerging designer started sewing the brainchild of her small business, satin little capes that can easily snap around the neck for kids to instantly become superheroes. Little Hero Capes started one afternoon with my oldest son, he was about three, and he was running around with a dish towel, and I was like, what are you doing with <laughs> that dish towel? That was really the, the springboard for Little Hero Capes. I realized the demand was far beyond my reach um, in terms of being able to handle it all myself. So I realized despite making superhero capes did not have the superhero power of duplication. Allison walks in smiling and happy and young and energetic like I was with a hero cape and Mary and I are looking at the hero cape and we're saying, what, what is she doing? Where's the future in this for us? And I said to Mary, I said, you know, it's, you have to bet on people sometime. And Allison had energy and she was confident in what she was doing. She knew what she was doing. She just needed us to do more of what she was doing. They took their time to really listen to where I was on my journey and to figure out how they could help. So we started making little hero capes, and it's just, it's working out. And business has grown substantially for Allison and Jimmy. Allison's profits have doubled, and she's partnered with children's hospitals across America to provide young patients with little hero capes. As for Jimmy, well, he's busy. 100% of Fall River Apparel's work today comes from the internet. Finding enough workers to fill the demand is Jimmy's biggest problem. There are people out there that believe in making it in the United States. And I'm kind of, <laughs> that kind of gives me a little bit of hope. And if there are Allison's all over the country, it's all jobs, it's all good. So even if you drag down to zero, get up and keep going. The success is in the doing and the surviving. If you know a business that's driven, connect with us on Twitter at Yahoo Finance. For Yahoo Finance, I'm Lauren Lister. Yahoo!